hi Laurie and, and everybody. Uh, you asked me to do an overview of how to create and design the snap key fobs and for training purposes I have pre-prepared this a, a little bit and it may seem a roundabout way to show you how to do this. I'm hoping it will all make sense um, in the long run. I will show you all these steps but just for now I want to show you that the size of the fob, there's no right or wrong to this. Um, I'm going to have to stop saying um. What you really need to um, understand is the width ultimately of the tab um, is probably going to be half an inch from side to side. These are the things you need to be aware of. The actual width across the whole design for this, I'm going to be making it three inches. As far as the height is concerned of the key fob itself, that's also going to be three inches. And the height of the tab from here to here, this is what will get folded over and have the snap in it. For this, I'm making it two and a half inches. But these dimensions really um, are not important. It's down to you. And to start with, I'm just going to create this basic square. So I'm going to exit out of that and um, exit out of this. So we're really starting from scratch. So I go new. I come to create draw package. And I want to create a new bitmap. OK. Now, as I've already explained, the total width, so the x direction of the, the fob, is going to be three inches across. Now, the y direction in inches in the height is the three inches of the fob plus two and a half inches to allow for the tab. So we're going to need a height of five and a half inches, 5.5. I'm going to say OK to that, and I'm going to view it 100%. So this is the area that we need to create our fob. Now, the up in the top left-hand corner of your screen, and also in this area here, which is blank at the moment, is like a measuring tool. This program sadly doesn't have rulers down the sides. And if I have to be honest, I would not use the draw package to create my original design. I'd use one of the graphic programs that are on my computer, like my Paint Shop Pro or, or Photoshop. But I'm using the draw package because this is what most of you will have. So to start with, I'm going to come just to the straight line tool. I'm going to come into the red color. And starting at the top, I'll redo this again, but I'm going to drag down in a straight line two and a half inches, which if you look at the top of the screen, immediately above where my pen is now, it's saying 250 in this box up here. I'll redo that so you can see what I mean. Watch this box at the top here. I'm putting my pen or my line in the middle and I'm dragging down until that says 250 and then I'm releasing it so I know that that is two and a half inches in length. I know it's not wide enough yet, we'll come back to that. This is just to get the dimensions on the screen. I'm now coming to my square box filled with no border and I need to come down the page um, to a point of 250 and if you watch now this box, if I come down here with my cursor to 60 and I have to work it up until I get to 250 and 1 250 so I know I am two and a half inches from the top and now I just drag out for the whole design. So I now know that this is three inches across. If you look at the cursor again at the top, 
where the position of my cursor is. So if I come up here, that's to um, 87. I don't know where the start point is, but anyway, I know because I did the width of three inches that this is three inches, and I know that this is two and a half inches tall. I need to make this wider. I need this to be half an inch in total. So again, watch up here. I need to come to the center of my design and I'm going to drag a box up and I want this to be 250 I have to be right in the screen I can't be off the screen to do to do this so there we have oops um, beg your pardon 25 not the 250 it's the first number that I'm after 25 and you can see that and I'm going to fill that in and again bring my cursor to the center and then come up and again I want the 25, 23, 24, 25 and so I now know that this tab is going to be in the center I've got a little bit missing down here so I'm just going to zoom into 300 and just draw a little red box um, got the long line wrong on that here we go so now I've created the outline of the tab and the when I convert this in auto punch it's the outside of this that will have the bean stitch equivalent now the top I don't want it square I want it to be a circle I'm going to zoom in to 400 bear with me because this will make sense I'm coming down to the circle and the toolbar I'm going to change the color to red uh, sorry to blue and I'm going to go for the field circle and I'm going to start right up in the corner here my screen um, is up the top so this is the very top of the tab I'm coming to the top corner I'm going to hold my control key down so I get a perfect circle and I'm going to drag it out so the circle is the width of the tab I don't know if you can see what I've done there I'm going to zoom in a bit closer so my circle is the width of the tab now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose white in the color I'm coming to my fill um, my paint bucket fill and because the um, the blue is making a, a break between the red here and here I can just fill this red area with white I can fill this red area with white I've now got my perfect curved top I can come back to my red color on my fill and I can now make the blue box sorry the blue circle red so now I have my square fob with the tab with a curved on the top and I know because I've set up the dimensions that this is like three inches by three inches and the tab is two and a half inches long I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna call it LS for Laura Slattery Bob and it's put it I need to remember it in my Futura um, for images so I'm gonna save that and there it is it's come onto the screen now I need to go through auto punch so create auto punch next the image is already on the screen next this is the only one I have to um, I think um, I have to check and it's close now I just need to bring that bring that in to there and to there next and the size I'm going to change this to inches and this is exactly what we asked it to be three inches wide in total and five and a half inches in height which is three inches for the fob and then another two and a half for the turnover on the tab now I don't need to make any other changes in any of these loading options because it really doesn't matter um, because I'm what I'm going to do to it so let's view it in realistic view and let's zoom in 
a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. Now I want to convert this so the outside is like the bean stitch for your fob. And to do that, I come into my outline edit. I open my embroidery settings. I lock my box and I come into my stitch type and I go down to my applique and I don't want a first hold down line. I, it's not an applique. I don't want the satin stitch so I turn that off and now I'm going to apply. So all we're left with is the stitch line around the outside and I can close that and close that and you can see the stitch line. Now I'm going to view my screen colour. I'm going to change the background here to black because it then shows up a little bit better. But the stitches here are way too close together. It depends if you're using felt or leather or vinyl, like marine vinyl. Um, but either way, you're liable to actually make a hole by doing this rather than having it as a pretty bean stitch. So we need to go and edit again. So outline edit, our embroidery settings, our stitch type, and our line stitch length. It's on 20 at the moment. I'm going to change that to 50 and apply it and that will make the stitches longer. Can you see how they've got a little bit wider? But I still want it even more than that. So I'm going outline edit into my embroidery settings, into my stitch type and I'm going to take this to the maximum which is 100. I think it's the maximum. I don't think I can go any higher. Let's apply that. Now it's reverted to 100. So 100 is the, um, how can I put it, is the longest length of stitch that, that we can create on there. So this is something you'll need to stitch out depending on whether you're on felt or, or leather or vinyl or whatever fabric you choose to find out the right length which works for you. And if I go to the redraw view, I'm going to drag this out of the way just to give it a bit more room to see and play that. And there we have just around the outside a very simple uh, key fob. You would stitch it out and then cut around the outside, bend the top over and add, add your snap. And look, we probably want to do uh, a little bit more to it to it than that but that hopefully gives you just the general overview of how to create the basic that's just a square box and if you're having a circle or a heart or a shield type scalloped shape Every one of those will still have this two and a half inch by half inch tab at the top that you will need to create a, a picture of in whatever graphic program you're going to use on your computer. I'm going to close this. I don't need to, to save it. I'm going to new one. I'm going to create in the drawing package. I'm going to open an existing bitmap. And I'm going to go down to, um, if I can find it, it's in here somewhere. Um, here we have LS Fob. So we're back to LS Fob again. And I thought I'd just show you something simple to enhance this. I'm going to go to the field square so select our square field I'm going to choose a different color the color really isn't important at this stage and I'm going to come inside the existing box and I'm going to drag a box inside of this and that's all I'm going to do you can be a little bit more careful about making it equal save changes 
um, an LS1 fob save and here we have it on screen I'm going to create auto punch next there's our design next next in inches and as you saw before we don't need to make any changes so I'm just going to finish this off go to view to 100% and go to realistic and the same rules apply I'm going to come to outline edit I'm going to come to embroidery settings I'm going to come to my stitch type of applique it's held in the last thing I did which is a hundred on the stitch length with no hold down lines I'm going to apply that and that's oh, let me undo that I didn't mean to do to do that as an applique so you see we all make errors and I'm going to undo and get back to the start where I needed to be this time I want the it's the outside the red that I need to highlight that was my fault for hiding the uh, stitch blocks at the, at the bottom but here we go starting again applique with our guide of 100 in length no first hold down no overlock stitches and apply that so there is our outline now with our blue in the center what I'm going to do with that I'm going to fill it with a motif I'm going to come to my catalog of which you saw before you can view in small or, or large and for this you need um, more of an open pattern I'm going to I'm going to choose this one because it's the first one on the screen and I'm going to apply that and that uh, that looks okay so I'm going to close that close that and if I view in a bit closer this is where you, we start to come more into the editing you can see that there is a red border around um, the blue and what that is is it's the inside so it's the other edge of the larger red block and I want to get rid of that and I don't want that to be there so this is where we get into more advanced editing I'm going to come up here not to my outline edit but to my stitch edit and I've got two extra buttons here one for adding stitches and one for removing stitches I'm going to come to remove the stitches and to remove them you use your keyboard your keys um, right arrow and left arrow keys one deletes the, the stitches in one direction and one deletes the stitches in the other direction so you need to find your your, your start point so you can see here I that stitch I don't want uh, and I also don't want all the ones that come around the outside so I'm going to come to delete now I'm just going to use my right arrow no go, I'm going the wrong way can you see I'm going the wrong arrow and I'm removing stitches from the come up here from the outside and I don't want that so I need to come in the other direction I need to remove stitches coming let me zoom out so you can hopefully see what's going on here. So I'm now removing the stitches around the inside of the red, which is also the outside of the blue area. I've done that now, so I can come out of that and go into my redraw view, and there's my outline to the red there's the blue motif fill pattern and I don't know if you notice I've still got a few red stitches here that I need to remove so I'm going to come out of redraw I'm going to 
zoom in so I can see better what I'm doing and coming to my stitch edit I'm going to this one I can't root stitch I can't remove because this is a start point in the center but I can remove these ones here so delete 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 and what that will do is now take this stitch straight up here I hope so let me view come out of that and view the redraw view so I've got one more st stitch here to <laughs> remove this is where this is why it's called editing and I'm going to come to the delete and I'm using I say my right and my left mouse keys and come out of that retool view and there we have this start point in the center and it goes straight to the outline and we've removed the red outline from the motif Coming out of redraw view, I'm going to go back so you can see the whole thing. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my text, either with hyperfont or the text button, and I'm going to have the initials L S for Loris Slattery. Because you asked, I'm going to put that in the middle, and I want that colour to be blue. Okay, and then I'm going to stitch that, the blue here, I need to come out of the text, the blue background I'm going to change to white. So there we have a red, white and blue, I'm going to come to my screen colour and change that to black. So there we have... Um, some embroidery on top of your fob with some initials in it and it's, this is a, a very basic overview just of a square fob with the tab that you will fold over to put your snap onto and as far as the contents are concerned you can import any of your graphic images obviously you don't want them to be too um, dense a, a design you've seen the sort of design on key props this is just to give you a, a, a bit of an idea of what to do and watch this let me know how you what you think of it how you get on with it and if you like it um, and this is what you were after come back to me and I can start to show you some different shapes and things um just let me just let me know okay hope this has helped laurie bye